Jamaica's teenage speed sensation and the American women's 100-meter world champion. An unlikely duo, wouldn't you say? But if you look at this... It's Alana Reed pulling away, moving away, going towards the line. Alana Reed takes the gold. You would see that she has potential. A lot of potential, actually. And looking at Shikari, it makes sense to see the current world champion and an aspiring world champion together. She's got a good start, but watch Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson, is she just going to do it? Oh, on the near side! On that note, I probably don't need to tell you all about the current 100-meter world champion, but most of you probably don't know much about Alana Reed. You know, the Jamaican athlete who competes as a sprinter who, when she was 17 years old, won a bronze medal in the 200 meters at the 2022 World U-20 Championships in Cali, Colombia. There, she ran a personal best time of 22.95 seconds. Then, at the ISSA Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Championships held in March 2023 at the National Stadium in Kingston, Alana ran a personal best of 11.16 seconds in the 100-meter semifinal. Notably, it was the best time since 2001, and it was just 0.03 seconds short of Veronica Campbell Brown's championship record. She ran a lead time of 10.92 seconds in the final, setting a new junior national record for her. Her time beat Tina Clayton's 2022 record of 10.95 seconds, and because she did, she became the fifth fastest junior athlete in history, behind German athletes Katrin Krab and Marilise Elsner, then U.S. athletes Tamari Davis and Shikari Richardson. Not only that, she also ranks 11th on Jamaica's all-time players list. Three months later, Reed announced her decision to turn professional and signed a multi-year deal with sports apparel manufacturing giant Nike. By June, it was announced that Reed also signed a deal with Amp Global Sports to handle her management. According to Amp Global Sports, at the time of Reed's signing, get ready to witness her unstoppable determination as she takes on new heights with us. The agency further expressed that, with her relentless determination and unrivaled passion, Alana is poised to redefine the boundaries of excellence on the track. Needless to say, she is the lead Jamaican junior record holder in the women's 100 meter. Surprisingly, however, Alana signed a letter of intent confirming her admission to the University of Oregon early last year. So, even before training with Shikari, Alana Reed is already a one-time Pan American U-20 champion, one-time Pan American U-20 championships silver medalist, and one-time World U-20 championships bronze medalist. Yes, you heard that right. The 18-year-old Jamaican Sprint prospect decided to move to Florida last year to train alongside Shakari Richardson and her coach, Dennis Mitchell, at the Florida-based Star Athletics Track Club in the U.S. At the beginning of the year, Alana lauded American Shakari for aiding her transition to her new training base. As earlier mentioned, Alana is currently sharpening her skills at the same club Shakari and T.T. Terry train in. After setting her record in the Class 1 girls 100 meter at Champs, under the guidance of Corey Bennett from Heidel, Reed strategically relocated to Florida late last year to advance her athletic pursuits. Reed recently shared that she finds Richardson's presence particularly beneficial. Reed, in an interview with the Jamaican Observer, said, It's a good feeling being around her. She continued to say that Shikari had been teaching and showing her a lot of stuff. Like everybody else, she commits mistakes, and she's well aware of that. She teaches me a lot, and she shows me a lot of stuff, she said talking about Shikari. There are times when I will make a few errors, and she will pull me aside and say whatever. Nevertheless, she is driven and remains on track, pun intended. It is not for me to come here and focus on anybody, it is to focus on myself and prepare myself to be better than who I am. She said, shining importance on personal development and growth. That said, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has high ambitions, like Olympic level high. It has been okay so far because my main focus is for me to chase my dreams and stay and try to make the Olympic team this year. I have the World Under U20 Championships coming up and my focus is also on that, she shared. So far, the Jamaican team said that it was the best decision for her as she's now in the company of world-class sprinters. Apparently, the training has been going well so far. And I have to thank God for that, knowing that I have been adjusting to a new program, a new coach, and a new environment. 
According to her, her new environment has been good so far, and it has been a good experience to meet people from different places. Arguably, she's around and training with great athletes. I mean, Shakari Richardson and Twanisha T.T. Terry? No explanation needed. Notably, Alana draws inspiration from T.T. since she has known about the American even before she came to the club. So having her around to guide me helps me a lot, she shared. For Shakari, it might be a great thing to have someone new to train with, especially since she's eyeing the Paris Olympics too. It is no secret that Shakari Richardson is a track sensation for the United States, who has faced major ups and downs in her athletic career. Still, despite the roadblocks she experienced, so to speak, she rose from it. In fact, Richardson went on to earn the title of the world's fastest woman after she set a record time and placed first in the 100-meter race at the World Track and Field Championships in Budapest, Hungary in August 2023. Besting the late Tori Bowie, who previously held the record in 2017, Richardson became the second non-Jamaican world champion since Carmelita Jeter in 2011. With charisma and confidence both on and off the track, Richardson will have all eyes on her in preparation to qualify for the U.S. team for the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. That said, with Richardson as a role model to train with, many have hoped Alana Reed's development could yet take another leap forward. And based on what the young athlete has been sharing, it looks as if Shikari is having a positive effect on her. In fact, even before last year came to an end, the U.S. 100-meter champion was captured in training with Jamaica's future sprint star Alana Reed mentoring the young speedster as they walked together. So, with Reed now having a role model in Richardson during training, it's expected to spur the 18-year-old to greater heights as she learns from one of the world's best coaches and sprinters in her bid to make the Jamaican Olympic team to Paris in 2024. Given Reed's future ambitions include making the senior team for the Paris Olympics, it's of little surprise that Richardson is providing the up-and-coming star with good energy. For her part, expectations are obviously high that she will reach yet another level in 2024, including at the Games in Paris. After all, Shakari more than exceeded the expectations from her last year. Just in case you need a reminder, she proved to everyone that she's not back but instead better, as she repeatedly said. She did so after winning the world title ahead of Jamaican duo Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price in a blistering 10.65 seconds, the sixth fastest run in the history of the women's 100 meter category. She also helped anchor Team USA to a championship record setting gold in the women's 4x100 meter and clinched bronze in the 200 meter. Whether or not she would perform as exceptionally this year remains unseen. But that definitely is worth keeping an eye on, don't you think? Besides Shakari Richardson and Alana Reed, here's yet another athlete we all wish to see in Paris this year.